2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the Heat. You won't find a more dangerous player than Kyle Lowry. He'll lead them into battle as they get pumped up before the tip-off against the Celtics. Heat, Celtics, Game 7, Eastern Conference Finals. Tonight, the stakes are at their highest. A trip to the NBA Finals on the line. Get ready to sit back and enjoy Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Struess and Butler out on the perimeter. Caleb Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Vincent in at point guard. And for the Celtics... Smart and White make up the backcourt. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. And it's Horford in at the five, roaming the paint. It'll be the Heat off the tip. And here's Butler. Here's Vincent. Inside, here's Martin. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. I'll tell you, it always feels great getting those first points on the board. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. Light on the wing. From behind the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Butler with the ball. Pass to Vincent. Now Struess. Shot clock at five. Martin with the ball. Now Horford defending. Struess's shot is off. And credit the defense. Excellent contest. Made that a tough shot. Brown passes to Smart. Here's Tatum. Elbow shot. The shot won't fall. And Miami will go the other way with it. Adebayo passes to Butler. Now here's Struess. Back to Vincent. Takes the three. Knocks down the triple. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead, let it fly. Now here's Smart. Tatum from long range. The shot misses. To the inside, Butler. Here's Martin. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And so it's Boston with it, trailing by five. Smart passes to White. to the middle. Horford finds Brown. Kept alive by Boston. And Horford gets it to go. That's what we call attacking the glass with aggression and power. Al Horford the second chance opportunity. Outside Struess. Outside Butler. Pass to Martin. Over Tatum. Martin misses. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Tatum passes to Smart. It's Brown on the wing. Over Butler. A oh, nice shot by Brown. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. Brings it. Outside Struess. 
Pass to Butler. Banked it in off the glass. Jimmy Don't Butler. you love the mentality of Jimmy Butler? He almost embraces the contact, invites the contact. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Here's Tatum. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul, Caleb Martin. That's his first personal foul. Jason Tatum continues to emerge, guys, as one of the most elite players on both ends. We know on the offensive end he's a dangerous three-level scorer. He's also capable of locking you up defensively. Here's Martin. And again, it's Miami converting. Martin. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Martin against Tatum. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. Connects from downtown. Tatum's got six. Absolutely a threat. You've got to be on Tatum on the catch in three-point territory, or just like that, he will shoot lights out. Now here's Struce. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. Boy, what terrific body control. Jalen Brown, so athletic, Dave loves to compete. Vincent. Love it. Second team foul. At the line, Jalen Brown. At the line with one shot. And the free throw, no good. And for Jalen Brown at the free throw line, he has worked so hard on his mechanics, and that's paid dividends in terms of his confidence, guys. Now here's Struess. Back to Vincent. And out of bounds. Austin will have it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Well, this is where Al Horford gets going, right? He's a high percentage shooter anytime he's got deep post position. Outside Struess. Pass to Vincent, and they get it. Gets the three ball to go. Vincent. Vincent's got his second basket on the night. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Brown. Rebounded by Butler. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Just an enforcer for this team. Adebayo is no stranger to physical play. Free throws good. Adebayo. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a... Second free throw, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Smart right side. Pass to Horford. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Outside Struess. Outside Butler. Lays it up and banks it in. Martin's Assist got nine. Jimmy Butler. The Celtics have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. Smart outside. Out to Horford from outside the arc. Good D by Adebayo. For Miami, they've gone seven of nine. A solid percentage so far. Outside Struess. Back to Butler. Here's out of bio. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Inside Bam really doesn't hold back. He takes his shot right through the foul. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. A big group substitution here for Boston. 
Williams has checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Tatum. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. And the Celtics call time here. Outside White. Good work defensively by Robinson. Shoots over White. Robinson can't hit. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Brockton against Lowry. Let's it go from 11. Brogdon with a bucket. And the Celtics lead by one. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Here's Highsmith. Pass to Robinson. The three ball. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Well, plenty of give and take so far. There are six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Outside Brockton. Outside White. There's the triple. Knocks it down from distance. White's got six points. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now here's Butler. Down low. Here's Highsmith. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Well, this is one of the strongest aspects of Jimmy Butler's game, playmaking for his teammates. Over the years, boy, he has gotten so much better. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. He'll take possessions like that one all day. Here's Williams. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's White. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Bam out of bio. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight. And he makes both free throws. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Outside Robinson. Lowry outside. Out to the right wing. Fades back. Rebounded by the Celtics. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. Left side white. Pass to Williams. Back to white. Here's Hauser. Nails it from three. And the Celtics lead by four. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Outside Robinson. Here's Highsmith. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Boston has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Hauser. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Five points in the game. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. He would. He buries it from three. three points. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Now here's Brogdon. Here's Hauser. Pass to Williams. The three. It's deflected. Here's Highsmith. Five points in the game. And a big finish by Robinson. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Brockton against Lowry. Pass to Hauser. White on the wing. Five to shoot. Shoots over Robinson. Rebound by the Heat. A minute 20 left in the first quarter here. 
And it's Highsmith missing. The Celtics with the lead. To the paint. And Brogdon with the stuff. Wow, Malcolm Brogdon doing work off the dunk. That is nice. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's the Celtics Entertainment. 102 left in the first. Out of bio against Williams. Adebayo in the post. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 51 seconds left in the first quarter. Lowry against Brogdon. Williams from long range. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Butler. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Butler challenging the very heart of the defense. Everybody's trying to take away the paint. Jimmy Butler says, I own that real estate. Here's Hauser. Right side, Brogdon. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. At the line, shooting one. And that one falls for Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon has proven more than capable of producing at a high level on the offensive end, both as a scorer and as a passer. And we know he is a quality defensive player. Great positioning, great intellect. He's a true two-way force. Boy, he really wanted that shot. Trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that wide open. Derek White getting it done for the Boston Celtics. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Setting the floor for the Heat. Lowry and Struess are the guards. Damn out of bio is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Butler in at the three spot. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's Lowry. After the basket by Boston. Now Butler. Denied by Tatum. Probably the most underrated aspect of Jason Tatum's game is his defense. Size, length, strength, you name it, sends that one back. And here's Butler outside. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Butler's got seven. That right there... That's the kind of look this system is designed to create. On the wing, Tatum. Butler covering. Tatum gets the bucket. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. An aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Struess, looking for his first basket still in this one. Smart passes to Williams. Kicks it out to Smart. On the wing, Tatum, beyond the arc. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Struess. Doesn't go for him. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Here's Tatum. And the lamp is good off the glass. He's 
got 10. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Outside Struess. Pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler. Nails it from beyond the arc. Butler. Butler's got six in the quarter. Well, a big part of the offense built around the skills of Jimmy Butler. Off the bounce, catch and shoot, you name it, he's got it. Here's Smart. He's guarded by Lowry. And here's Tatum. Outside, Williams. Just five to shoot. For three. Struess grabs the miss. Miami has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. They now take the lead. Jimmy, man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now a timeout called by Boston. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum. Now here's Smart. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Brown. Horford outside from the arc. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Horford's got nine. Well, this is just another way that Al Horford can beat you. He has turned himself into a quality three-point shooter. Adebayo with it. Started now by Williams. Adebayo, that's good. This pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Brown. Denied by Adebayo. Oh, got to be cautious when Adebayo is in the area. Showing once again that he's a legitimate shot-blocking threat. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Tatum against Struess. Tatum passes to Williams. Second chance effort. Adebayo grabs the board. The Heat have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Martin misses. Boston has gone five of 12 from three-point range tonight. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. Here's Struess from outside, off the mark. The Celtics have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Tatum gets the bucket. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And again, the Heat missing. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. A nice shot by Brown. Boy, what a score right there. Jalen Brown able to absorb the hit, still make the shot. This guy is a big-time talent. And Adebayo slams it in. Oh, it's almost scary watching Adebayo throw it down. Incredible natural power. Tatum finds Brown. From the strike, count it. Brown's got six in the quarter. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. Pass to Vincent. Out of bio with it. Horford covering. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. Six on the shot clock. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That'll be a second foul of the game. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. Miami trailing. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Here's Adebayo. He's got nine. Pass to Struess. Here's Lowry. Here's Vincent. Out of bio with it. Six to shoot. 
Here's Vincent. He's guarded by White. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Personal foul. First team foul. Taking two shots. And he drops the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Boston with the ball. Smart outside. Pass to White. Tries it from 19. Can't hit that one. And Miami will go the other way with it. Here's Highsmith. Again, the Heat misses. Now Horford. And here's White. Give him eight points now. Baseline dry. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Tatum's got 15 points. I'll tell you, he's in a rhythm and playing with purpose. Great first quarter, even better in the second. For three, Robinson. The rebound, Celtics. Pass to Smart. Inside, here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. Well, you have to admire how Smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. Here's Vincent. Back to Struess. He shoots. Offensive board. Harden with the bucket. 11 points in the game. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now here's Brown. He's got 10. Back to Tatum. Shot clock at six. White, the pass to Horford. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. The free throw is off from Horford. Guys, I know we've discussed this many times, but I don't think statistics really reflect Al Horford's true value. This guy is a terrific player and a pro's pro. Boston's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Outside White. Pass to Horford. Outside Brogdon. The kick out to White. To the wing, right side. Here's Brogdon. Left side, Williams. Second shot opportunity. White, good. White's got 10 points in the game. Yeah, on the catch and shoot game, Derek White, very assertive, ready to react. Outside, Struess. Pass to Robinson. The three is up. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. No good that time. And Miami will go the other way with it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul. The Heat making a switch here. Butler's checked in. In for the Heat, Jimmy Butler. Here's Vincent. Give him eight points now. Outside Struess. Let's it go from deep. Vincent can't hit. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Brogdon. With the drive. And Brogdon with the stop. Hey, Malcolm Brogdon getting off your feet in a hurry and leaving no doubt.
And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, you can feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Here's Highsmith. Five points in the game. Pass to Struess. Six to shoot. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Robert Williams picks up one. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Now here's Brogdon. He's got nine. Pass to Horford. White on the wing. Covered by Struess. 13 feet out. Horford can't hit. Miami trailing. Here's Highsmith. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And they'll keep possession. A shot by Butler. No good. Austin's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Horford outside. It's Brown on the wing. Over Robinson. Here's Williams. Chalk up two there. Williams has got his first two points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Pass to Robinson. There's 53 seconds left in the first half of this one. Butler with the ball. Fader on the way. Basket counts. Jimmy Butler's got 15. Well, this quarter has been all the about this guy. Assist. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Now here's Horford. Outside, Brown. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second personal foul. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Boston. Williams has checked in for Horford. And Smart subbed in for Brogdon. And Miami with a change here, too. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. As poorly as they've shot the ball from the line this quarter, it's a wonder they're still out in front. You have the sense from the opening tip that Jimmy Butler wanted to take the initiative to put points on the board. Now here's Brown. Ten points for him. There's ten seconds left in the first half. Yep, count it. He's got 12. Well, you have to love how Jalen Brown keeps his attention on the rim. He doesn't let the defense change his shot. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach, it's been a hard-fought game. A lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we got we to gotta make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Bernie Jones, Kenyon Jeff Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Celtics, they're one half away from finally moving on in this series. The pressure of Game 7 may be weighing heavily on them, and they've still got their work cut out in the second half, but they're in a pretty good position. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball. And over to Shaq. What would you think about Miami? 
Well, they had a strong room in the game. See, Ernie, when his team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out in the second half, those shooters are hot. They got a great chance to take control of this game. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Headed to the floor right now is Celtics Entertainment. Headed to the floor right now is Celtics Entertainment. And we're back with more action from the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. And we're back, folks. Thanks for joining us on this Memorial Day NBA Hoops extravaganza. Smart and White make up the backcourt. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. And it's Brown in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Vincent. Back to Struess. Four, three. Counted from distance. Struess has got seven points. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. Ooh, he's now seven for 12. Well, Jason Tatum with the answer from three. That's how you stop an opponent's momentum. Outside Butler. Back to Vincent. Martin up top, hounded by Tatum. And stolen by Williams. Takes a three, and Tatum, the bucket on the assist by Brown. Tatum's got 21. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Offensive rebound, Adebayo. Soft touch Man, off the glass. Adebayo. 11 points in the game. A tireless worker at both ends. Adebayo imposing his will that time on the offensive class. Pass to Smart. Martin against Tatum. And he lobs it up top. And Williams punches it home. Woo! I just love that alley -oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Outside Struess. Now Butler, defended by Brown. Butler against Tatum. Misfire there. Now 7 for 11. The Celtics have gone 3 of 3 in the second half. Pass to Butler. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Now here's Martin, hounded by Tatum. Adebayo passes to Struess. Called in by Brown. Brown's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside Tatum. Pass to White. Back to Tatum. Over Butler. And it's Tatum missing. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Here's Vincent, defended by Smart. Here's Struess. Again, the Heat misses. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Back to White. Unloads from 13. Jump shot is good that time. White's got 12. To me, this is when Derek White is at his most dangerous. When the jumper is falling, it opens up the other aspects of his game. Bruce the pass to Martin. Here's Vincent. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Ten points for him. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. 
with the ball. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. From 17, Brown can't hit. Miami trailing. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. In transition. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. That's what you call speed, being the difference in transition off the steal. Derek White so heads up. Well, the Heat's shooting the ball at 48% so far. Outside Struess. Pass to Butler. Outside Struess. Releases. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Brown inside. Butler covering. Back to Smart. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Heat. Butler's got six rebounds in the game. Martin with the ball. Picked up by Tatum. Pass to Vincent. Dostrus. Adebayo up top. Back to Struess. Over Williams. Struess's shot is off. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Butler with a steal. I don't and know. it goes out of bounds. Last That's touch by ball. Butler. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds in time. Miami ball. Outside Butler. To the inside. And Lowry with the bucket on the assist from Butler. Assisted. Butler's got his fifth assist in this one. The Celtics have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Outside Tatum. Pass to Smart. Outside Tatum. Up top, Brown. Four on the clock. Drains the triple. Brown's got 15 points. Well, this is a shot that Jalen Brown must make consistently. Nice seeing him start to look confident, stroking it from deep. And here's Adebayo. Pass to Lowry. Back to Butler. Here's Vincent. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. Boston's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Tatum drives in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Tatum's got eight here in this quarter. I'll tell you, that defense was on point. But how about the better offense of Jason Tatum on his way to the cup? Ooh -hoo. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. Now here's Smart. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Brown. Now here's Tatum. Five on the clock. And here's Horford. Counted by Adebayo. Horford can't hit. Miami has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Butler. Defended by Smart. Butler passes to Adebayo. Rebounded by the Celtics. To the middle. Here's Horford. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Pass to Lowry. Outside Butler. To the paint. Here's Vincent. And a great assist by game. Butler as that Vincent. one goes. Butler's got seven assists in the game. Yeah, just doing his part. 
staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. They just recharge here quickly. Robinson against Tatum. Over Robinson. Hits the fadeaway. Tatum's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Horford against Adebayo. Here's Vincent, driving inside. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. For a center, Adebayo is an excellent passer. He's always so aware of his surroundings. Brown passes to Tatum. Shoots over Robinson. Down low. Here's Horford. It's hauled in by Robinson. Unbelievable. He blew that. Look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Adebayo up top. 11 points in the game. Lowry outside. Back to Adebayo. They get it back. Here's Butler. Well, this to me is the problem with defending Butler. He typically takes it so strong, it's hard not to bite on that pump fake. And he makes a first. Well, you can tell that Jimmy Butler absolutely thrives in a strong team environment. There is a chemistry between he and his guys that comes out on the floor in how cohesively this group plays together. The Celtics have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Right side, Tatum. Shoots over Robinson. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got 12 now in this quarter. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Time call here. Miami decides to talk it over. And no doubt, coach wants them to improve their interior defense. Here's Adebayo. He's got 11. Robinson finds Lowry. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Williams from long range. Here's Brown. Out to Horford. Williams on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Here's Benson. 17 points in the game. And here's Butler outside. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got four rebounds now. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, Brown. Forty-six left in the third. And there's the call on Al Horford. That'll be a second foul of the game. And there's a minute 45 left in the third. Now Lowry. He's got five. Pass to Robinson. Denied by Tatum. Now here's Brown. with the ball. Over Lowry. Smart with the bucket. Smart's got his first two points of the night. I think it's crucial that Marcus Smart be able to drain these mid-range shots, right? He does a great job squaring himself up. Now here's Robinson. Pass to Lowry. Here's Vincent. Butler on the wing. There's the three. Counted. Now eight for 13 with that basket. Yeah, pretty dependable from the corner three spot. Butler only fires those threes he feels comfortable taking. Outside Tatum. Williams on the wing. 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And they're winning despite his poor showing offensively. Some nights, your teammates have to carry. Benson can't hit. Boston has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. 
16 seconds left in the third quarter. Pocket six. Smart passes to Brown. He drops it from range. Brown's got 18 points in the game. One of Jalen Brown's advantages is the lift he gets off the floor. Just a tremendous athlete. And so it's Boston. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their work from distance has been impressive. And it's put them in this lead right now. And don't go far. We'll be right back. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Setting the floor for Miami. Struce and Butler out on the perimeter. Caleb Martin out there with Bam out of bio. And it's Lowry in at the point. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. Now here's Smart. Pass to Williams. Horford outside. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Outside Butler. Back to Struce. Outside Butler. Lowry with it from deep. Here's Adebayo. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. And once Bam gets the ball inside, the bucket is almost guaranteed. He's a serious producer in the paint. Pass to Horford. Smart outside. Here's Tatum, and he lays it up and in. Tatum's got 14 points now in the second half. Jason Tatum committed to adding strength and adding weight, and now the ability to finish through contact so evident. There's the AT&T 5G slam can, capturing the moment. Butler with the ball, hounded by Tatum. A shot from the mid-range. Here's Adebayo. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. Now that's a confidence booster. Great effort on the offensive glass. This guy just feeds off that fourth quarter pressure in a tight game like this. That's when we can really see the kind of heart he plays with. Now here's Tatum. On the wing, Tatum. Launches it. That shot, no good. The Heat have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And Adebayo slams it in. And what I love about Adebayo is he picks smart shots to take. Just an efficient offensive player. Horford, left side. White against Struess. Now here's White. Defense is right there. Struess with a defensive effort. Adebayo finds Lowry. To tie it up! That one a little long. Well, it's a make-or-miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Smart against Lowry. Throws it up high! Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Adebayo passes to Lowry. Now Adebayo. Williams defending. The shot. And a foul Boston called on the way up. So he'll Robert take two from the free throw line. Third person Robert ball. Williams picks up one. And that one misses. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. No good on the second free throw. Unusual for him. He'd been in a groove from the line. Butler against Smart. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Celtics lead by four. 
Well, if there's any player in the league who relishes contact, it's Marcus Smart. You want to play physical? Oh, yeah. I like that. Pass to Lowry. And here's Butler. Pulls it. Again, the Heat misses. Here's Smart. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, they call that a perfect pump fake, right? Smart selling the shot, accepting the hit in the process. At the line for two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive. And he makes the first, but misses the second. You know, he didn't get them all, but they'll be able to breathe just a bit easier with the two-possession lead. Outside Struess. Here's Adebayo. Two points. Man, that one goes. Adebayo's got ten points here in the second half. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Pass to Horford. Yes! And the foul! It goes on Bam out of bio. Well, how about the strength of Horford? It allows him to finish the play and he'll get one more. At the line with one shot. That's good from Horford. For Miami, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Here's Truce. Pass to Martin. To the inside, Lowry, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Lowry. Maybe the most defining aspect of Kyle Lowry's career has been that competitive spirit. This guy has got vision, scoring ability, but he's always been team first. White for three, and the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fifth assist in this one. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Now here's Lowry. White. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Miami's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Butler on the wing. Now here's Struess. Hits a three-pointer. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. against Lowry. Light on the wing. Pass to Tatum. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Martin. Struce the pass to Adebayo. Here's Martin. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. Well, this guy is a champion, and Kyle Lowry understands how to move the basketball. And Boston calls time here. He recognizes players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Allie the force. Hey, guys, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during the break. He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's bring this home. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. That's good from Horford. And so he makes both from the line. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved. Hitting in the low 80s now. Pass to Vincent. Brown against Butler. Inside, here's Struess. Boston foul, Derek White. Fourth personal foul, third team foul. And he 
Cincinnati makes a first. He does not get the second one. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Outside Tatum. Brown against Struess. Shoots from the elbow. Yep, right through the net. Brown's got 20. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team schemes. And finished off by Adebayo. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Smart. Outside, Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Again, Boston. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. For Miami, they've gone eight of 12 so far here in the fourth. Horford against Adebayo. That one is off. Tatum with some nice D. Brown against Struess. Pass to White. Here's Brown. Struess with a defensive effort. Miami has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And here's Butler outside. And the Heat, another three. three Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half, his fifth overall. Smart Pine Statum. Now here's Horford, counted by Adebayo. it out to smart this one for three that shot off the mark and Miami will go the other way with it to the middle here's Martin Boston with a rebound Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one here's smart again the miss by the Celtics you got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. And out of bio, the bucket on the assist by Butler. Butler's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Now a timeout called by Boston. Adjustment. Present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He thinks it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Got his sixth assist of the night. Soft touch by Derek White. The floater, not an easy shot, but he puts that one on target. Now here's Struess. Pass to Martin. Now out of bio. Ooh, rejected by Horford. And he recovers it. Brown against Struess. Outside, Brown. with the ball. Six on the shot clock. Shoots. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his 16th rebound on the night. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. And just an effective offensive talent. Adebayo plays so hard, and that's really what drives his game. Now here's Tatum. to Brown. Butler with a steal to tie it up. And he lays it in. Jimmy Butler's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> you can see it from the moment he caught the basketball. Jimmy Butler delivers again. 
inside Tatum. Smart left side. And here's Horford. Pounded by Adebayo. Just five on the clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that gives him a lead. He does enough to give them the lead. Every point critical here with the game in the balance. Butler against Brown. And they take the lead. Butler's got 29 points. I wouldn't say Butler seeks contact, but he sure doesn't turn it down. Up top, Tatum. He's guarded by Martin. Outside White. Butler against Brown. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Boy, that's the last Miami thing they ball. needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Miami's got three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. And here's Butler outside. Oh, nails the triple! And talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Now here's Tatum. They grab their own miss. Horford. Denied by Adebayo. And here's Butler outside. And again, Miami with a triple. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession. All right, guys, what's your take? It's going to be tough. They've got to get a quick hoop and then immediately foul. And it's in. watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. Here's Martin. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Man, they've been careless with the ball tonight. Yeah, it's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline. They're better than this. Tatum can't hit. And now we've got an intentional foul. Jalen Brown, first personal foul. We've got 13 seconds Boston left in the foul. final quarter. And he Marcus commits the intentional Smart. foul. Third personal foul. Game. Vincent. The line for two. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. Here's Brogdon. From downtown. And no good. Outside Butler. And the Miami Heat will move on. These guys have played so hard, endured so much, and you can just see how absolutely excited they are to be headed to the finals. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close to the to completing their mission. It's easy to look ahead, but winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself. I hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the finals, they'll be here before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.